A local breast cancer survivor was ready to quit chemo and give up the treatment just too much for her. But WDRB's Fallon Glick shares her story and the news she never expected that gave this woman the strength to fight for her life. <laughs> Life is precious. Like I said, every day that I wake up is a gift. Every single day of it. Good boy. It really is. But sometimes we lose sight of that until we realize time can be taken from us. And you just don't realize what people go through until it knocks on your door. Time came knocking on Tracy Bandy's door in February of 2020 at the start of COVID. And at the time, a lump came up. The doctor's offices during the time were telling people not to come unless it was an emergency. And I just felt like, I don't feel like this is an emergency. I didn't at the time. What she thought was a cyst didn't go away like they had in the past. This time, it grew. She made a doctor appointment, had a mammogram and a biopsy. Tracy found out she had the one word no one wants to hear. I just immediately broke down. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I cried like a baby. Because the whole time I just kept saying, I can't have cancer. Who's going to take care of the horses? So just like all this stuff started running through my head. Her husband, John, was her rock through it all. So on our 27th wedding anniversary, I was starting my first round of chemo. Tracy had chemo every week for five months. And like halfway through, it just got really tiring. I just said, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. John is a fixer. Her fight's my fight, you know. But this wasn't something he could fix. Tracy was ready to throw in the towel. It was all too much until one day everything changed. She found out another precious life would soon come into this world and she wanted time. My daughter came to me and told me she was pregnant. I was expecting my first grandbaby. And I said, I just couldn't believe it, you know. I said, I have to keep fighting. I have to be here for my daughter and this baby. The name picked was Evangeline. Well, her name means message from God, God's messenger. Tracy saw her granddaughter as a message from God to keep fighting. Without prayer and uh, my parents praying for me and my family praying for me and my husband being here for me, I wouldn't have made it, you know, I wouldn't want to continue. She put on her armor and started the next round of treatment called Red Devil Chemo. And that's when you completely lose all your hair. That's what pushes it over the edge. I didn't think I was going to make it. I mean, you literally feel like you're dying when you start that. After chemo came surgery, then radiation every day for six weeks. It was not easy for her or her loved ones. I had major radiation burns. Um, my breast came open at the surgery site during that time as well. Go down whatever road we needed to do to try to save her life. You know, I mean, she means so much to me that I don't want, I don't want to ever lose her. On some of her worst days, the horses who she worried about taking care of, in a way, took care of her too. It's like he knew too. And he would just lay on me and just be still. Although her cancer did spread to her liver, her latest scans have all come back clear. Tracy's goal now is to spread awareness, share her story, and raise money for the Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk. They help women with getting rides to treatment, um, maybe help pay bills. You know, the resources that they give as well, I, I feel like it's very important. Although the fight was not easy. We're going to get through this. On the other side of it, it was worth it. You want to take him? He would say, I don't want to be without you, and I'd say, I don't want to be without you. For more time <laughs> with the people <laughs> you love. But as long as we've got years, yeah. that's what we look forward to. With photojournalist Zebanique Petty's Fallon Glick, WDRB News. Wow, what a story. The Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk is Saturday, October 12th at Louisville Slugger Field. WDRB is a proud sponsor of this event, and we hope you guys will join us in that walk. You can still register, and if you're unable to attend, you can also donate.